Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube show. And today, I am going to share some of my child and teenagehood memory stories. So, in this, so this is what I'm going to be uh, talking about in our uh, episode today. Some of my memories while I was still uh, younger, during my child and teenage, teenagehood years, memories. So, okay. So, if you don't know me, I am uh, Ruben. Ruben, and I was born in New Jersey on October 29th, 2002. I was born October 29th, 2002, and Summit Overlook Medical Hospital. And I was the only child to be born, just me. And I have no brothers or sisters. I'm the only child that's me in the family, so... And I only have uh, an aunt, an aunt and uncle, step uncle, basically. So that's me and the family. And uh, it's my grandma. She takes care of me too. My mom, who works in um, who works in this roofing company. So yeah, she works in the roofing company. Then my dad works at home all the time. So. His name is also Ruben uh, Sr., so we both have the same uh, name, but we were uh, from different countries, so. Yeah. 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 Me. And there was my aunt. She works in a, she works in a company, he Heineken Company, so, in uh, New Jersey, so. And there was my mom, and there was my mom who was working in in a roofing company, so which she's been doing for a long time. So, my mom and aunt. So my mom is the youngest child after my aunt because my aunt was born in 1982, and then my mom was born in 1983. So my aunt is the oldest in the family. I mean, her the oldest uh, sibling. In the family so and then there's my mom who was born in 1983 she's the youngest sister and my grandma was born in 1956 and then my father was born in 1955 so my father on on my father he on my father's side he was a uh, nuclear scientist nuclear physicist same with my grandma she was a nuclear physicist too and and then they still know how to do uh, physics to this day still. So it's pretty interesting. So I grew up in uh, White House Station. So I lived in, in uh, New Providence. New Providence was where I was born. So and then we moved. I moved. We moved out of that house in 2000 and August 2004. So I was only one year old going on through going on two years old and then we lived in a small house and uh we lived in a house and uh white house station so yeah white house station and the address we used to live was 282 morning glory court that was 282 morning glory court so in the house it was just me, my mom, aunt, mom, me, my mom, aunt, grandma, and uh, father were in the house. So just just for just me, my mom, aunt, grandma, and father. So five people in the family. So we only have three girls. And there's three women in this family, which is my mom, aunt, and grandma. And then there's only two men in the family. So that's me, two guys in the family, which is me and my dad. So 
And so we lived in White House for, well, I lived in White House for about, uh, for seven years. So I lived there from 2004 to 2011 because that was the time when my mom and I moved out of that uh, house and White House and then we moved into, uh, new, uh, we moved into Flemington, which is in New Jersey too. So this is the house we used to live in here. New Jersey White House Station. So the, my second house. And that was actually the house where I grew up in. So White House was the area where I grew up in. And and I had a pretty good uh, young childhood while I was there because because I didn't have to share anything with anybody with and, and, and with my oh, I didn't have siblings at the time, so I didn't have to share anything with anybody. I didn't have to like share toys or whatever. So and I was kind of very spoiled because when I was younger, I used to get all those toys and stuff like that from the Lego store and Toys R Us. But Toys R Us is out of business now because um, Toys R Us is out of business now because they don't, they're not, people are not buying toys from that store anymore. So nowadays people are buying stuff from online. So that's basically, uh, that's basically what they're uh, doing. So now. And but 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 back then people were getting toys from the store, and then I remember getting Legos like uh, Power Miners and Hero Factory and a bunch of other Lego uh, sets. I remember getting so that was a I was very spoiled, and my family was spending money billion month a lot of money on those toys. And so when I was there, I remember watching a bunch of uh, VHS tapes, for example, like. Um, for example, like the mostly DreamWorks, Disney, and Pixar movies I have on VHS, some were on, some were on uh, DVD besides VHS. But the movies I remember having on VHS for DreamWorks were The Ants, I believe I had, which was made in 1998. And I also had Prince of Egypt, which, which was made in 1998, I remember. I also had uh, The Road to El Dorado, that was made in 2000. And then I had Joseph King of Dreams, which was made also made in 2000. And I had Shrek, which was made in 2001 on VHS. I had those on VHS. I had those. And I also had um, Spirit on V8 on tape. No, not on tape, on, on uh, DVD. And then I had um, for Pixar movies, I had Toy Story 1, which was made in 1995. I had that on VHS. I had Bugs Life on VHS 2, which was made in 1998, and I had Toy Story 2, which was made in 1999, and then I had uh, then I had Finding Nemo, which was made in 2003. So I had those four movies, Pixar movies, and then on tape on video on DVD, I had for I had uh, Cars for a uh, Pixar movie on DVD, and I think I had Wally -E too during that time. And then for um, and then for and then for Disney movies on VHS, I remember we had Snow White. I think we had we had Snow White, Aristocats, uh, Lion King, Aladdin. I think we had we had uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, and a bunch of other uh, Disney movies. I remember we had, and I think we had Hunchback of Notre Dame too on VHS during that time. So yeah, those were some of the movies I remember having on uh, VHS when I was growing up. So when I was uh, younger, back in White House, so yeah, then I remember we used to watch the movies in the basement. So that was kind of a, a cool time too, as well. So yeah, it was me. I think it was me and my mom were watching sometimes the movies in the basement and stuff. So it was fun. It was a good time though. So, so yeah. it was on tape. I remember. So we were watching it in the basement. I I believe. So. I think, we, I think we watched Prince of Egypt in the basement once, back in the uh, White House. I think we did. Just, just, uh, just me on the bed. I'm just going to make myself there. Up here. Yeah. It's going to... Okay. Yeah. 
or just sort of like watching movies there. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's just me and my mom just watching uh, VHS uh, tapes there, so watching any movie there. And then also I remember watching um, SpongeBob and a bunch of other uh, TV shows, I remember. It was Barney and uh, Barney and the Teletubbies, and there was a bunch of other uh, shows I watched on uh, PBS Kids. I think it was Dinosaur Train, and I also remember watching uh, Thomas the Train, I think I watched as well, so... Those are some of the things that I remember watching there. But, that, but then when I was younger, there was my family were very, my family was very scared and nervous because I wasn't talking for almost four years, uh, probably until 2006 or 2005. I wasn't talking, so that scared the hell out of my family. So, and they didn't know what to do. So they, um, so um, when I was younger, I couldn't talk, and so my mom took me to the hospital. And they wanted to see um, why I couldn't talk. So, yeah. And then I was in the hospital because, and then the doctor, and then the doctor said there was nothing wrong with me because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, uh, I w didn't have any problems hearing. I just didn't talk. That's all. So, yeah, I was kind of sad. I mean, that wasn't sad. That's just how it was during that time. And so I was uh, kind of quiet for some time. I only said no. Those were some of the words that my mom told me that I, that she remembers. That was the only word I said no. So, yeah, it was the I only said no during that time. I didn't know how to say any other words during that period. So it was um, diff. It was a totally, totally different time now because now I'm talking about I'm bouncing off the walls like I'm talking about stuff. So, yeah. And then she took put me in this uh, school, which was Kangaroo Kids. I used to stay there, like during the day, because my mom was. Uh, I used to stay there for some reasons, so they could uh, teach me how to talk and stuff. So I was there for some time. I was there when I was little, and the teachers over there, I think they were um, Peggy and Sean. They were married, I think. And so I was in that. I was in Kangaroo Kids for some time, and it was. Um, yeah, I was in Kangaroo Kids for some period of time. And then I also remember sleeping there for some odd reason. I don't know why. It's that was a day that was a daycare. I used to stay I used to stay there. Yeah. So I used to stay there for some time. That was near uh the Walmart shop right. That was where that was near the um uh, that was where we used to uh, get the food. That was that was the uh, supermarket there near the uh, near in the near uh, White House, I think that was. And then uh, for some time, I stayed in um, I stayed in this. Um, and then I was in another school. It was uh, White House Station. That was near my house. That was near my house during that time. And so I think the, I think my mom had to drive me there, or um, or she walked me there. I can't remember which one it was. So I was there for some time. I don't know how many years I was there, and then I stayed there for some time. And so I used to play on the playground. So that was uh, kind of fun, though. So when I was younger. So, and then for some time, I think it was 2009. I think that was when my mom started her job at Byroom which is a company somewhere in the New Jersey. So she started working there. That's where she met um, her um, future husband. So this, he met, she met her at, she met him at the job that she was working at. So. That's where she met him. And then they were uh, dating some time and then they had, then they work, then they had a relationship, and then they decided to get married, which was in 2011. And I remember that day very well. That was September 10th, 2000, and uh, 2000, and um, September 10th, 2011. So that was just, uh, that's just my, 
ex-stepdad and my mom there. So that was the 10th anniversary before the 9-11 attacks, which happened in 2001. So I wasn't born when 9-11 happened. I was born a year after 9-11 because like I stated in my video earlier, I was born October 29, 2002. So I was born a year after the 9-11 uh, attacks, a year and one month after the September 11th attacks took place on the United States. So, yeah, I remember what happened. I was there, so um, I, I witnessed the whole thing, but I was young. I was little at the time, so... What so what what was going on was they uh, that was my mom and uh, my grandparents were there my aunt was there as well and some of Anthony's friends were there the Pasquales were there and then so for some time uh, we stayed there and I I don't remember where it was the wedding was over and then it was probably sometime in November or November or October or September we moved into the new house in Flemington. And I used to live in the Flemington for some time. So this is going to be the house where I lived in. So. so I used to live there for two years, from 2011 to 2013. So, yeah. And so they were in a relationship for almost 10 years. But then they got divorced uh, last year in 2019. So this is the house we used to live in, the Flemington. It was in New Jersey. And the house we lived in was close to my ex-stepdad's um, parents' house. So, yeah. And then I remember visiting them. They seemed like nice people. So they were pretty cool. And then we went to New York City one time, I think. That was when... Uh, I think it was probably maybe 2012 or 2011. I can't remember which year it was. I think that was probably my first time to New York City, I think, at New York City. So but we went to go to the Lego store, I think, somewhere in New York City. And then I think we got something from there. I can't remember what it was. So so what? So while I was in New Jersey, I remember um, going to uh, martial arts. So that was basically where I, um, where I, I practiced martial arts for some time. But then that was where my aunt founded that uh, karate place. That was Tiger Shulman. Tiger Shulman. That was this martial arts she found near her uh, apartment during her time in uh, somewhere in Jersey. I don't remember where it was. And then it was in 2000. Um, and then I continued. Uh, and then I continued, continued martial arts probably un until. I came to Pennsylvania because I didn't think uh, uh, martial arts was interesting to me anymore. I did learn some skills, though. I think I did. I still remember to this day still, I think. So then I remember getting some belts. I think it was, I think I got, it started off at white belt, then I got yellow, green belt, and purple belt. I didn't get a black belt, though. So if I got a black belt, then I would be, um, then I would have been a uh, uh, master. And, uh, martial arts. But anyway, I I became old. I got I became older, and that things things changed, and then I didn't do uh, karate anymore. So it was not that interesting to me anymore. So while I was in uh, well, and then in 2012, that was the time when the Hurricane Sandy happened. Hurricane Sandy happened on my 10th birthday. That was October. 2012 so i turned 10 so i turned 10 in 2000 in october 2012 because i was born october 29th so yeah hurricane sandy it's gonna draw clouds there so and then the power and the power in the house was completely off so october 2012. so yeah so it was a much different time going on was the hurricane sandy there so that, that happened on my 10th birthday when I turned 10. So, and then I remember that because there was a birthday party going on, and then uh, the party was canceled because this, uh, because of this, uh, the how bad Sandy was, and they can they canceled my birthday party during that time. And then my mom had to, and then my uh, grandparents had to come over to my house in Flemington, and they lived there for some time. And Anthony's, um, oh, 
my ex stepdad's uh, parents came and they stayed there, stayed there with us for some time, for some period of time, because the power was out. And then also when I was there, I attended um, this Copper Hill Elementary School. That's where I went to middle school for some time. And then it was in 2000 and, uh, 2012, I think. I met this girl. Her name was uh, Michaela or something. And then we used to go out looking for frogs or whatever. So that was um pretty interesting so i mean i mean i wasn't really interested i wasn't really interested in frogs during that time but we just went and just went outside to see if we could find them so and then later on it was um uh, august of 2013 that was when we moved out of my uh we moved out of flemington and then we moved into pennsylvania because my mom had found uh in some jobs there that offer a uh, better money and so that's why my mom moved to pennsylvania in august of 2013 the same time when we moved out of there and and for 11 years of my life i was living in new jersey so from 2012 2002 to 2000 2013 i was living in jersey for 11 years of my life so that was a very interesting time and also one fact that I forgot to point out in this one, in this video, when I was younger, I used to go to different beaches. I used to go to Wildwood. So this was like uh, different beaches there. So it was nice. So different beaches we used to go to. So it was good though. So I had a very interesting time. Wildwood. Okay. And then it was my aunt, mom, grandma, and father. We went to Wildwood, which is in uh, and which is in New Jersey. And there were carnival, and there were carnivals there. There were um, there were festival, there were carnivals there. And then they had like rides and stuff. So that was a pretty good time. And so in the next episode of Drawing My Life or ch Child Child and Adulthood Adulthood Story Stories. Next video, I am going to talk, next child, next drawing my t child and teenagehood live memories, stories. I am going to make more videos about that in my next video. So, okay.